if you look at the bowlers that we have right now uh, siraj has played a lot of uh, cricket uh, umesh has played a lot of cricket saini has played a couple of games back uh, uh, the a series that is uh, recently concluded so that is good so everyone is in touch that is important uh, uh, as far as the others who are missed out here someone bumrah and shami definitely will be missed but we also look at this as an opportunity that the others have uh, to to play uh, test cricket and perform for the team In terms of combination, a lot expect out of uh, 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 Umesh, but uh, I think it's a great opportunity for someone like Siraj also to fill in because that's that's where we want him to pick. Because as you mentioned right now, every Test match from here on is extremely important for us. We don't go into any games playing to not win. Um, so realistically, I think we've we've got a chance. We can beat them if we play really well. We've done it for periods of time in test series over the last year, but not for long enough. Um, so we know it's a tough series. I'm I'm under, I'm under no false illusions, but I'm expecting us to be very competitive and hopefully push India really hard in the series. A lot of the games have had swings that have been really close. Um, I think Alitton Dust's performance in the Test matches he's come good. Taskin's been fantastic. Everdot's stepped up. So there have been a lot of really good positives for us. Mamadou Hassan Joy's handed in in South Africa. So there have been a lot of positives and a lot of good performances. It's just stringing those performances together consistently, session after session, that has sometimes been the challenge for us.